What's up everybody, Logan Alex CPA here. So with over 30 million Americans having filed for unemployment benefits recently, I thought I would tackle the question of whether or not unemployment is taxable. Now when you ask the question if something is taxable, there are a few ways that income can be taxed, all right? The major ones are federal income tax, state income tax, and social security and Medicare tax. So in this video, I'm going to give an answer for the, each of these tax types sequentially, starting with the taxability of unemployment compensation for federal income income tax purposes, then moving on to state income tax purposes, and finally wrapping up with Social Security and Medicare tax purposes. One thing to keep in mind here is that for tax purposes, the $600 extra weekly benefit, the FPUC, that was instituted by the CARES Act, is treated just like your regular unemployment compensation for tax purposes. So I'm grouping both of these together as unemployment compensation for purposes of this video because both the FPUC, the extra $600 a week, and your regular normal state unemployment benefits are both treated the same for tax purposes. Though I have heard of some states automatically withholding federal taxes from the FPUC you see, but in terms of the way that they are ultimately taxed is the same as normal unemployment compensation. So with all that said, first, is unemployment compensation taxable for federal income tax purposes? The answer to this question is yes. Unemployment benefits are taxable on your Form 1040 for federal income tax purposes, assuming that your total income is over the filing thresholds. Because if if none of if your income isn't over that filing threshold, then uh, none of it's taxable, and you don't have a filing requirement. Now, I'm not going to get too off course here by talking about these filing thresholds. I assume you're going to make more than your standard deduction amounts this year from all income sources. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So I'm not going to dwell on that. Anyway, for federal income tax purposes, your unemployment benefits will be taxed at ordinary income tax rates, just like your normal wages from your job. So in January of next year, maybe early February, but hopefully in January, you will, you will receive a Form 1099-G from your state, and in Box 1, you will see the amount of unemployment compensation you received during the year. If you opted to have federal or state withholdings taken out of your unemployment payments, you will also see amounts in Box 4 and Box 11, respectively. Speaking of withholding, yes, for federal income tax purposes, you can elect to have 10% of your unemployment withheld out of every payment if you want to. It's completely optional. And I know for a lot of people that doesn't make sense because you need as much money in your pocket now while you're out of a job. Or maybe you just want to make estimated tax payments on all that unemployment income and pay those quarterly rather than having withholdings taken out of your unemployment compensation. That's cool too. You do you. Or you could choose to just deal with it when you file your tax return. Just know that if you underpaid your taxes throughout the year, including the tax you own unemployment compensation, and that you know obviously includes that, then it's possible that you will be charged penalties and interest on your underpayment of taxes. So keep that in mind. Now. If you want to get a feel for what you should do, input your numbers into the IRS tax withholding estimator. I'll put a link in the description below. I may do a walkthrough video of it as a follow-up to this video. But just on the topic of withholding, when you applied for benefits, I think most states give you the option to opt into withholding when you apply for your benefits. But if you didn't opt into withholding and now you do want withholding done because you don't want a surprise tax bill when you file your tax return, you can file a form W-4V and send it to your state to have them start withholding for federal income tax purposes. Keep in mind that this form is only for federal withholding. Forbes gets this wrong. They say you can fill out a form W-4V with the Internal Revenue Service if you want to have your state government withhold part of your pay to use toward federal and state income taxes. This is wrong on two counts. First of all, you do not file the Form W-4V with the IRS. You file it with your state. Number two, the Form W-4V is not used to have your state government withhold for state income taxes, only federal. Business Insider also gets this wrong. It says if you file Form W-4V, then it also covers state withholding, which is incorrect. Form W-4V is only for federal withholding. For state, your state probably has its own form or maybe even an online method to elect into withholding for both federal and state. And if that's the case, you should do that and not do the Form W-4V. I don't want to get too deep into the state stuff right now because I will give some examples of states and their own state withholding forms later in this video in the state section. Anyway, back to the 1099-G. Once you've received the 1099-G from your state in January, all you have to do is input this information into your tax software. Software. Now I'm going to tell you something very important here to know about tax software because I test them out every year. I review them on my blog, moneydoneright.com. 
of the TurboTax Free Edition, at least of this past tax year, does not let you input unemployment compensation. You would need to upgrade to a paid edition of TurboTax if you have unemployment compensation to report. That's correct. That's right. If you want to use TurboTax and you have unemployment compensation, you will need to upgrade to the deluxe edition, which at least looking at the website right now would set you back $60 for Fed and $50 for State. I think it runs a little bit cheaper when tax season first starts, so keep that in mind. However, as of this past year, H&R Block Online Free Edition, and I have a review of H&R Block Tax Software on my blog as well, it does allow you to report un unemployment compensation in the free edition there, so keep that in mind. If you've usually just had a W-2, and you've always used TurboTax and been able to file for free, but now you're getting unemployment compensation, then H&R Block Online Free Edition might be worth a look as well when you file your taxes next year so you can continue to file for free. All right, look, I'm a part of both of their affiliate programs, TurboTax and H&R Block. I have no incentive to promote one over the other. I'm just telling you the facts, all right? Now let's move on to state taxes. Is unemployment compensation taxable for state income tax purposes? The answer to this question is maybe. It depends what state we're talking about. States set their own tax laws. In, in this case, most states that have an income tax do tax unemployment compensation for state income tax purposes. Here are the eight states with an income tax that do not tax unemployment benefits. Alabama, California, Montana, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and Virginia. Those are the eight states that do have an income tax, but that do not tax unemployment benefits. Obviously, the seven states without an income tax, Alaska, Florida, Nevada, South Dakota, Texas, Washington, and Wyoming, they don't tax unemployment compensation either, all right? They don't even tax your normal wages, okay? Now let's talk about withholding for state purposes, the same that we talked about for Fed. So I told you previously that for federal income tax purposes, you could complete and give Form W-4V to your state to tell them to start withholding from your unemployment for federal income tax purposes. However, if you want to get withholdings taken out of your unemployment compensation for state purposes, you have to find your state methods for doing that. For example, here's the New York form for this. I'll put a link to this in the description. They, withheld from, they withhold from unemployment at a rate of 2.5% for state purposes if you so choose. They say right here, to start or stop withholding 10% federal and or 2.5% New York state income tax, complete the form below and return it to this address. So you would basically fill it out, check the boxes that apply. If you want just Fed or just New York or Fed and New York, you check both and then you sign it, date it, put it in an envelope and mail it to the address on the form. Here's another example, real quick, Michigan. They withhold from unemployment at 4.25% if you opt in, fill it out, sign it, mail it in, right, if you wanna opt into withholding. So those are just examples, right? And you gotta keep in mind that the tax rates, just like the federal 10% rate, the tax rates that the states withhold at may not adequately cover you right for your um, uh, you know for the taxes you on on your unemployment or it, it might be too much to need because this is truly a uh, case by case basis all right like I said, those are just some examples, New York and Michigan. My point is that yes, unemployment compensation is taxable for state purposes in most states, and you can choose to withhold state income tax and federal income tax from your unemployment if you so choose. Now, third tax type. Let's move on to Medicare and Social Security taxes. This one will go quick. Is unemployment compensation taxable for Medicare and Social Security tax purposes? The answer to this question is no, it's not. That one was easy, right? Easiest of the bunch. So that is what you need to know about unemployment compensation and taxes. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also be sure to check out the free stuff in the links in the description below. All right, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.